Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and I post weekly crafting and cooking videos here on YouTube. Today's tutorial is actually the first part in a series of videos I'll be doing teaching you how to create your own projects and garments from actual commercial patterns. We'll be using this simplicity pattern that you see here. It's a very simple one from their easy learn to sew line. It's number 2290 and it's a pair of pants. In this one pattern, you can do sizes from kids sizes all the way to adults. Today, just for part one, I'm actually gonna walk you through the back of the pattern. It talks about measurements and what you need, what type of fabric, so we're gonna go through all this information. And so for the next video, when we do part two, you all will have all the information you need. Today I'll also be hosting a giveaway, and it just happens to be for two of the patterns that we'll be using in this series of tutorials. So stay tuned for more details later on in the video on how you all can enter to win one of these two patterns so you can follow along in this series of sewing tutorials. So you wanna make sure that you're choosing the right pattern size for what you're wanting to make. Some will say one size fits all or have a range of sizes. This one happens to have the sizes for both kids and teens and then teens and adults. Then you wanna make sure you're reading how many pieces are involved in the pattern. This is just a pair of pants, so it happens to say one. Obviously the more pieces, the more complex the pattern. So every commercial pattern will have a section on the back for the fabric suggestions. If you read through them and you don't know what they are, feel free to ask someone at your fabric store and they can point them out to you. This is a great way to kind of feel the fabric and see if that's the kind of fabric you want to use to make your project out of. Now it also says not suitable for sleepwear. I think this is just a disclaimer specifically for when you're making these types of pants for children because some of the fabrics you use may be flammable. So make sure you keep that in mind as well. Then it also talks about the extra fabric that you need in case you're using plaids or stripes or one-way design fabrics. This is more of an intermediate technique. So for my beginner students, I just recommend you start off with either a solid fabric or something that has an all-over design that doesn't matter which way the fabric lays. The next section down is notions and notice this is a simple project because all it requires is thread. If you needed something like buttons or assorted jewels or some kind of buckles or something for the project, it would be listed under this section. Directly underneath that, you see under body measurements where it says childs and teens. That's just one of the sizes that you can complete with this pattern. And so what I want you to take note of here is that all the measurements under each one of those different categories correspond to whatever else is in the same column with it. So whatever you see inside this red box all applies to the same size. Now under the category for teens and adults, it's a different set of measurements and sizes. We're gonna show you here an example where we're taking the large size, okay, and these are all the measurements that correspond. The chest and bust size, since this is a pair of pants, that's not gonna come into play, so we can ignore that. Now under hips, this is, says 43 to 45 inches. To make sure if this is the size that you're gonna be creating for yourself, you want to take a measuring tape and measure around your hips, okay, the widest part, loosely. You don't wanna do it tight, okay? And if you measure around that size and those in, within that range, then that's the size that you wanna to use to cut out your pattern and create the pair of pants that you'll be making. Now under the sizes, you'll see under pants, it tells you the fabric requirements. What you see there is 45 inches, where the arrow is pointing to. It says 45 inches, and that's just the width of the fabric as it comes off of the bolt. Generally, it'll be 45 inches. Sometimes you'll get an option for a 60 inch wide fabric. And so what these measurements mean is that to make the large size of this pant pattern, you're gonna need two and three quarter yards of fabric that is 45 inches wide. And then what we also see next to it is two asterisk signs, okay? And what those two asterisk signs mean is if you go down to the bottom of the pattern. So when you hear the word nap, it's usually used to talk about um, fabrics that have one-way direction, um, either in the print design or the pattern that has been printed on it or because of the surface texture of the actual fabric. So an example would be corduroy. You know when you run your hands in one direction, it feels soft and smooth, and if you run it backwards, then it feels a little bit rough. Well, that's what we call the nap. And so for a beginner project like this, you won't really have to worry too much about it if you stick to what I told you earlier and just choose a fabric that is either solid in color or just has an all-over print design that doesn't matter which way the fabric will lay. The next thing we see here is what other materials we're gonna to need to complete the project. So it says elastic, and it's telling you here for the children or the teen sizes, you need seven eighths of a yard. And if it's for the teens or adult sizes, then you just need one and one quarter yards. And notice they're both asking for one inch wide elastic. Something else this pattern is calling for is some tool tip for the ties that go on the front of the pair of pants. 
It's asking for three quarter yards of a quarter inch wide twill tape. You can see how the ties look on the front of the pants, and this is just going to be optional, okay? So you can either make your own out of fabric or even use ribbon. The last box you see here is for garment measurements, which correspond to the measurements of the pair of pants once they are fully completed. What you want to do when using the example we used earlier based off the body measurements, and we decided we were going to do, let's say, a size large in adults. You actually want to take that column and follow it all the way down into this garment measurement box. At the hip measurement, you see it says 48. What I do is take my tape measure and put it around my hips at the 48 inch mark. If I think the pants are too loose, I may go down a size to the medium. If I think I want them a little baggier, then I may go up to the extra large. Just remember not to go down too tight if you're going down in sizes because the pants might be too tight for you to wear. Now the same thing is going to apply to the side length measurements and the leg width measurements. So make sure you check these before choosing your pattern piece and starting on your project. Now all you guys need to do is go out and get the pattern. That's number 2290 from Simplicity's Learn to Sew line. If you don't know where to get it, I'll leave a link where you can go and get yours in the description box under this video. And then we'll just meet you guys back here next week with our pattern in hand. Don't forget your fabric and any notions you need. And then we'll be ready to start cutting out some pattern pieces and our fabric.